Through the whistling tunes of sweet Georgia Brown, Oklahoma legend Hubert E. Sosby became the clown prince of basketball, playing for the world's most famous team, those Harlem Globetrotters. After being selected to play for the Trotters out of a group of 500 applicants, almost 40 years ago, sure, Geese had everybody chasing him, but the world loved him and backed him up in his comedic brand of hoops. Over the next quarter of a century, lovable number 35 had traveled to over 100 countries on six continents, performing in front of more than 100 million adoring fans. Not too bad for a skinny guy from Crescent, Oklahoma, who was always the good Samaritan, helping this female fan find her purse and her pocketbook, and then making even Michael Jackson proud. Oh, yeah. Geese may have been funny, but he could play. Choosing Philander Smith College of Little Rock, Arkansas, over 200 schools that recruited him, Geese averaged 30 points per game during his college days. But it was making people laugh, especially children. That was Osby's answer to loving life. And through all of the great centermen and the Trotters' rich history, like Goose Tatum, Meadowlark Lemon, and later Sweet Lou Dunbar, Geese Osby was the most lovable of them all. He had a head for the game, too, whether it was off his noggin to the legendary dribbler Curly Neal or helping to manage the Globetrotters when financial times were tough. Geese did a lot behind the scenes to keep the Trotters touring worldwide. But it was his show on the court with the magic circle, the rubber band ball gag, the water bucket filled with paper, always razzing the refs and always humiliating those lowly Washington generals that made Geese Osby the clown prince of basketball all across the globe and a slam dunk for membership into the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame.